Jeffy, thanks very much indeed. Well, Unit 3 of the Kusile power station can now operate at a commercial level. Three years after its initial deadline last month, you remember we faced rolling blackouts as Eskom shed 2,000 megawatts, stage, T lo stage 2 load shedding. The unit now expected to add between 800 and 2,400 megawatts to the power grid. Well, to break the good news coming out of Eskom, the spokesperson for Eskom, Sikonati Manchancha, joins us now. Sikonati, good afternoon to you. So how significant is this new contribution to the grid actually going to be? Is it going to stop load shedding for a while? Good evening, Stephen. Let me correct, please, uh, some facts in your, in your intro. The unit itself is 800 megawatts in total. Please do pardon me, my colleagues uh, are the ones calling. The unit is 800 megawatts, uh, together with the two other units that are now operating uh, under a commercial status, meaning construction has been completed. They are contributing 2,400 megawatts to the grid. Right, I do apologize for that. So, I mean, it would seem this is good news that comes through for ESCOM, more electricity into the grid. Um, is it a significant amount in the overall scheme of things? Normally our demand as we go into winter is what, 36, 38,000 megawatts? You, 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 Stephen, it's 800 megawatts that uh, now forms part of the generation system. And as ESCOM has stated previously, that is unfortunately not anywhere near enough to ending load shedding on its own. But as we have said previously, each additional megawatt is a step in the right direction and will indeed help reduce the occurrence of load shedding. We have previously uh, told you and the people of South Africa that the risk of load shedding does remain elevated for quite a while. Uh, we are bringing uh, into generation the, the infrastructure, which uh, slowly will eventually get us to a position where we might not be able to talk about load shedding as a reality of our life. We've seen big problems with other units, other new units at Madupi. Now, this is a unit at Kusile, um, but some of the units at Madupi haven't performed properly, even though they're sort of relatively new. Do you believe this unit has been tested enough to make sure we don't have those problems? Stephen, this unit was first connected to the grid in April 2019, so it has been going through these tests and synchronization and optimization for the past two years. Uh, it, it, it has now been signed off and handed over to the generation division precisely because it now meets all the, the requirements, the technical, legal, environmental requirements uh, to, be, to be able to be part of the ESCOM fleet to generate electricity. I, uh, as we have previously communicated, Stephen, let me again uh, repeat this. The design defects at both Kusile and Midupi power stations that have been hobbling uh, the performance of the power stations are being corrected. At, at Midupi, the last unit is being worked on, and all the, the, the five other units that, that, that have undergone this correction have performed uh, since uh, the, the, the design repairs, have, have performed uh, according to, to the expectations. That repair work to correct the design defects will start at Kusile during the third week of, of April. Uh, and, and, and all these units, the three that are not yet part of the generation fleet, will be dealt with. And, and we have said that each generation units need to be switched off for 75 days uh, in order to, to correct the boiler defects. And uh, th th that work on, at Kusile itself has not yet started, but we are now uh, almost at the end at the Mijupi power station. And let's just repeat one last time. The, those uh, corrections have indeed yielded the, 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 the desired outcome, which is producing a maximum amount of uh, 720 megawatts per unit over a, a prolonged period of time. Sir Kanati Mantanda, <laughs> we appreciate the time. Thanks very much indeed, the spokesperson for Eskim. Well, coming up, churches want to hold services within 50% of their congregation, as in the capacity of the building, and not on the limits set by the lockdown levels that were announced last night. More on that.